We'll run Beloit. Music? Um, I usually, I think Money Trees, but yeah, I was listening to Money Trees and uh, Jump Man. I like that song, so those are my go tos for long jump. It's pretty fitting. Yeah. Yeah, it was a that was a tough turnaround. I I was like talking to my dad, and I didn't think that I would have to run the hurdles first before we thought I was going to get a jump in, like be safe to the finals, then go run my hurdles. But we just had to look at like where my mental state had to be at, and just trusting in God. Like today, God's got it because doing it alone is not easy, but with Him, it's a lot easier. Yeah, that under that sub minute time has just been in my head for a while, and I I'm so happy with it. Like that was a tough race. I attacked every hurdle, and I, I'm really proud of myself and my coaching and my support. Like I just can't give enough thanks for it. I think at Drake, I mean, you're happy to break 101. Yeah. I mean, how crazy is it that you're you know second faster? I know that just another second PR like this race is not easy and get, PRing by a second today was just like more than I could have ever asked being in the 59s is something to be really proud of and I just it's the support and the training that I have from my parents and my coaches and my friends and I I have a hard task but it's made a lot easier by everyone in my life speaking of your mom you know she was right there at the finish line uh, and she embraced you and you know, what's it mean to have her right the there cheering you on? And, and before the race, I saw you give her a look and, and you go, I got this. Yeah, I did say that because she was looking at me and she gives me a little thumbs up, like proud mama moment. And I was like, mom, I got this. Like, don't worry about it. And then at the end, I just gave her a hug and she said, like, I'm so proud of you, kid. And she, she would have been proud of me if I would have tripped over seven hurdles and finished last. And ran a minute and 30 seconds but that's just like the person she is and that's why i'm here today how far can you push the human body i mean how i mean what can, what, what can you do what can you achieve next year i mean do you think you can yeah. push more can you go you're under one now on the board hurdles can you go anymore yeah i think i mean i'd love to get in the 58s the ne that's the next goal i mean let's just go second by second then long jump i want to get close to that 20 foot mark maybe on a fresh day that I, i'd be closer to that but yeah, I'm, I'm super lucky. I mean, you were over 19 once this season in the long jump, and you come out here and you go 19 one your first three the finals. I mean, how did you reset that quickly to put up, you know, the best marks this season? Yeah, I just, I honestly, like, praying is my go-to. Praying and music, those are my, that is the recipe for success. Like, if you have those two things, it makes competing a lot more fun and a lot more enjoyable. So, 19-3, I think that's my all-time PR. I was previously at 19.2, I think, and so an inch PR, I mean, it's a PR, so I'm, I'm excited. Um, I guess, what was it like to, you know, do the first one, to break 19.3 once, and then to do it again? Yeah, I mean, I was hoping for, like, a 19.6, but that's okay. Like, <laughs> I mean, I can't ask for, I've had such a good day, and... I can't be unhappy with 19.3 twice. I mean, out of all the track days that you've had in your career, is this the number one or close to it? This is close to it. This is a good day. I just want to go see my family and my friends. So that'll make it even better. Just like giving them hugs and seeing them because it gets kind of lonely down here. Like I have my dad coaching me, but which is lucky, but yeah. Yeah, you know, you did those three jumps and after everyone, you could hear that they're like crowd. Yeah. And w when you heard them screaming, did you know? Or you just, did you know that you did something pretty big? Uh, yeah. I mean, they love Section ZZ. That's always their section. And I can count on a good chunk of Clear Lake to be up there cheering for me. And they truly do want the best for me. And when I hear those cheers, it's like, it's just so comforting. Like, I, they believe in me, so I should believe in myself. They know I can do it. And it... It gives me an immense amount of confidence. You got one more race this weekend. If you're anchored in the sprint, Matt. Yep. Uh, how do you prepare for that? And use what all this adrenaline that you probably yeah. have to push your course. I mean, Clear Lake, we have a good sprint med coming out tomorrow. So we've got two fast 100 runners, like good two, and then I'll anchor it with the four. So we're we're a good team to watch for tomorrow. Hopefully, we do some cool things. Awesome, Grace. Thank you. Thank